Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and this is a follow-up to the last video that I posted about electrical system control panels, in which I explained this device here, which is a Magnum Energy ARC50 control panel for the inverter, charger, and battery monitor system. And what I wanted to go into in this video is about the inverter and converter. Now, in my first video, I said that this remote control panel controls five different things, which is the inverter, the battery charger, the shore power, the generator, and the battery monitor, which shows you the percentage state of charge of your batteries. But there is actually a sixth thing that this device controls, which is the converter. Now first let me explain how the inverter works. The inverter takes the 12 volt power that comes from the batteries and uses that to power all of the 120 volt equipment in your RV. Now, there is a button here to turn the inverter on and off. Now, if I was running just on batteries, not plugged in the shore power, and I press this button to turn it off, then you'll see this light go off and it would turn off the inverter. And what that would do is it would shut down my refrigerator and it would shut down the clock on my microwave oven and anything else that's plugged into the 120 outlets would immediately be shut down. And that's something I don't ever want to happen. Now, right now I'm plugged in the shore power. So you see this light here where it says INV. That light being on shows that the inverter is running. Now if I were to press this button, like I said, when I'm not on batteries, it would shut everything down. But since I am now plugged in the shore power, when I hit this inverter button to turn it off, the light goes off, but nothing happens. My refrigerator is still going. As you can see here. And the clock on my microwave oven is still going. So that tells me that all of my 120 volt equipment is now being run directly from the shore power because turning the charger on and off, I mean tr turning the inverter on and off doesn't really do anything because my 120 volt that's coming from the shore power is going directly to power the appliances without running through the inverter. Now I never turn my inverter off. For one thing, I don't want to risk my refrigerator and my clocks and other things to be shut down. And it kind of acts as a battery backup. Because if I'm plugged in the shore power, however, if I get a power failure, which has happened a few times in the last few weeks, if my inverter is turned off, then that power failure that's coming in from the shore power would shut down all of my power systems in the RV. However, if the inverter is turned on, then when I experience that power failure, the inverter instantly kicks on and takes over powering all of the 120 volt equipment. 
and it does it just instantly. It, it doesn't even have a tiny bit of a fraction of a second break where it resets my clocks to zero or noon. So I would never ever want to turn my inverter off unless I'm just trying to test it to see if it's working like this. Now right above there is the light to turn off the charger. And in my other video I explained about the charging. And this button, this light here shows, it says CHG, when that light is on it shows that it is charging. Now when I press the charger button it starts blinking. And when it's blinking that means it's gone to the charging standby mode. And standby is really nothing different than having the charger turned off. Now about the converter. What the converter does is take the 120 volt power from the shore power, converts it down to 12 volt, and runs all of the 12 volt equipment in the RV. And the inverter, charger, and converter are all in the same box. There's a box that is in one of the outside storage bins near the batteries, and that inverter box does all three functions. The inverting, the converting, and the battery charging. Now I also have a little portable converter here. So if I plug this in to a 120 volt plug, and then I plug anything 12 volt into here, like this fan, then the fan starts running. So, like I said, what the converter does is it takes 120 volt from the plug in there, converts it to 12 volt to where you can run any 12 volt appliance off of the converter. Now you may have seen these tiny little converters that are like no bigger than that, that you can plug 12 volt equipment into and then plug it into your 120 outlet. Those tiny little converters were only put out one half of an amp and that can run really nothing more than just a small lamp. This one is a 6 volt converter so it will run much higher amp equipment up to using 6 volts at a time. And the converter that is built into my RV, I'm not sure, it really doesn't say how many amps it is, but it's probably 15 or 17 amps, something like that. Now one thing I don't quite like about this control panel here is that there is no on-off button for the converter. When you turn your charger on and off, at the same time, it turns the converter on and off. So the charger and the converter work together. So what I usually do on a daily basis is I will let the shore power charge up my batteries until it gets to about 80%. You can see right now it's at 72% state of charge. And then I will turn my charger off and then I will let my solar panels continue charging my batteries until they can get up up to as much as 100%. So the reason why I turn my charger off is like I said to give my solar panels a chance to do their job and while I have the charger turned off, at that point the way this works is that the shore power is powering all of the 120 volt equipment 
However, the batteries are now powering all of the 12 volt equipment. So typically, at sundown, this may be at 80%, and then when I wake up in the morning, it's down to 70. I will typically lose 10% of my batteries overnight. Now that may be more than your average RVer uses, but that is because I use more 12 volt power than most RVers use. And a lot of that is used here in my bedroom. Because I have a 12 volt outlet right beside my bed, right here. And plugged into that 12 volt outlet is a four way splitter. And that powers my alarm clock, which is plugged into here. And my CPAP machine, which is plugged into here. And my electric fan, which is plugged into here. And then I also have a bed warmer that is plugged into here. And the bed warmer is like a small electric blanket, except it's put underneath the bottom sheet in my bed. So I'll turn that on about a half an hour before I go to bed and I'm jumping into a warm bed <laughs> rather than a cold bed, which is really nice in the middle of the winter. So this is the way I have things set that works for me. This is the Magnum Energy brand ARC50 remote control panel for the electrical system. And it does a whole lot of other things. And if you look at my previous video, it will explain many more things that this control panel does. So I hope this has helped you in understanding the inverter and the converter, the difference, what they do, and how to use them. So there you go, folks. Have a nice day.